Hello, I'm Chris Menard. Zoom has a major update that came out yesterday, which was August 4th, 2020. This is, uh, I do a lot of videos on Zoom. As you can see, my playlist is listed here and I've already got 32 videos. I always cover these updates. This is probably the best update I have seen from Zoom. There are 11 new or enhanced meeting webinar features. There's new chat features. I'm not going to do everything in one video, but I'm going to cover what I consider the big three for meetings in this video. We now have video filters, which I'll show you. We can also now adjust our background brightness, which is a really cool feature if you're in a meeting and the lighting isn't that great, you can adjust that. And the third one is something that's in beta mode. I can pull up a PowerPoint presentation and put myself anywhere on that presentation. That's a really cool feature and I'm going to show you that. So let me go ahead and crank up Zoom and let's cover these three major new features that are part of this update. So I've just signed into my Zoom account. Uh, today is August 5th. So if you're wondering how do I get this update, sign into your Zoom account uh, in the desktop client, come up to your picture, and then hit check for updates. I've got the most recent, there it is, 5.2.0, came out yesterday, which was August 4th. Let's go ahead and knock out these video filters. This is a really cool feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new meeting. Hey, there I am, looking good. All right, so if you turn on, you know where your virtual backgrounds are, they're in the bottom left. I've got stop video, if I click here, right now, I do not have a virtual background running. But if you notice, next to choose virtual background is choose video filter, brand new. If by chance you go to the virtual background, I wanna show you this, the video filters tab is still right next to it. So one more time, click here. It really doesn't, if you want to go to video filters, go to video filters. If you want to go to video, if you want to go to virtual background, go to virtual background, but you can always get to the other one because they end up being in the same window. Let me move this a little bit up here. So virtual backgrounds, video filters. So video filters, brand new in this update. Now, some of these are absolutely silly, but I know people are going to love them. Let me start off with the one that's really silly. Here we go. If you don't like that one, I believe we have a TV here. You've got a picture frame. There's the picture frame. And you're saying, Chris, those are really silly. Do you have any subtle ones? Yes. Move again, move that out of the way. That's just tweaking. They've got different names. I'm not going to sit here and read through them. But anyway, you see what's happening. By the way, there are a whole lot more. I don't know. Some people are absolutely going to love this stuff. Like I would not be in a professional business meeting with a patch on my eye as a pirate or this. Anyway, there are the video filters for you. One thing I wanted to test though is this. I'm going to go back to none. So right now, no video filter and no virtual background. But what happens if I crank up a virtual background? So the virtual backgrounds are working and use a video filter. Let's see if it'll do that. The answer is yes. So you can have a virtual background with your filter. Let me go to none and let me go to none for both of these. So I'm back to just being me. So there is one major new feature, video filters. The second filter is this. If you come up to video, right here, camera, I'm using my Logitech camera, um, 
touch up my appearance, there's been an enhancement to that. I'm not covering it today. But right here is a new feature, adjust for low light. It's set for auto. Now, in all fairness, let me move that out of the way. In all fairness, I have lights to my left and to my right. And I've got a light overhead. So this really isn't that a great test. So I'm going to go turn off my two lights to my left and right real quick in the light fixture up top. So let's see how this works. Adjust for low light. It's set for auto. You can go to manual. Let's just see if this works. Yep, now I'm washed out. So there you go. That would be a great feature if you're in a room with low light. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn that light off real quick. So let's put it on auto. Watch it. Let's just turn it off. There I am. Adjust for low light auto, but you can go to manual. Anyway, I like that feature. Kind of cool. One second. Let me turn all my lights back on real quick. We have covered the video filters. We've used video filters with virtual backgrounds. Uh, so that's still the video filters. I just showed you the adjust low light. This other feature is really cool. I can run a PowerPoint and I can be in the PowerPoint um, kind of like a weather person. Now, this is actually under share screen. So share screen, advanced PowerPoint as virtual background. Just so you know this, uh, the first time I ran this, it didn't work. But every time since when I was practicing last night, it did. I realized, oh, make sure my PowerPoint is not running when I try to do this. So I hit share. I just grabbed a PowerPoint here. I believe there's six slides in this PowerPoint. There I am. Now, if you noticed, I would be up here with all the other people, but you can come up here as you know this and hide self view. That is this feature here. So that's actually an extra tip for you right there. Here I am down in my PowerPoint. Watch this. I'm in the bottom, um, bottom corner, but if I keep going from slide to slide, I stay here. But if you click here, I can, two things I can do. I can resize this, but I can also move it. So another, again, resize and move. Hey, I'm Chris Menard, blah, blah, blah. That is a really cool feature. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Those are three of the 11 new slash enhanced meeting features, webinar features that are in Zoom, the August 4th update. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Obviously, if you have any Zoom questions at all, just let me know. I know a lot about Zoom. I also know a lot about Microsoft Teams. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.